Hello, Junkaholics. So this is the first video in the series of Canada shipping to board sword. So the idea behind this course is how to take everything apart. I'm going to tell you which boards to send to board sort, um, how to identify them, how to fill out the board sort paperwork, how to take the stuff apart, um, how to package it, um, how to get paid. So as you can imagine, and I don't want to overwhelm you guys, I'm going to be breaking this up into sections. This way you can absorb the material I'm giving you. And by then you should be able to move on to the next episode. Um, I'm hoping to get these episodes done fast and quick because I'm sure you do not want this to last forever. So I'm going to try and increase the amount of videos I put out until this series is over. And then I'll go back to twice a week. But who knows? It, I have a busy life too, so it might only be two or three times a week. But um, I promise you, I'm going to make this as fast and as painless as possible. Because there's no sense me showing you how to rip something down 14 times. I only have to rip, the, rip it down once. You have rewind on your whatever media player you're using to stream this. So, in saying that, we're going to start off today by ripping apart a um, battery backup and a, a VoIP telephone. And then we will uh, take it from there. So I hope you enjoy the series. Make sure to subscribe um, so you don't miss any of it. And uh, we'll see you. I'm just going to get set up and we'll uh, see you soon. Oh, I just wanted to show you uh, what I will be scrapping. Yeah, that's a um, PC. I'll probably be doing that as well, even though it's not part of the telephone answering system. There's a, a laptop, some printers. Um, I probably won't be tearing down printers because I usually just throw them in the shred. Uh, there's a couple monitors, keyboards. They're going straight in the shred. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. To me, that's a total waste of time. So first of all, these two boxes at the bottom, those are telephones. The U-Haul box above it are telephones. Um, this white box has hard drives in it. Like I said, we got a couple printers, some keyboards, and then we've got router switches, server racks. Uh, I'm not sure what that thing is. I'm not sure what these two things are at the bottom. But I know they're heavy as all get out. So I'm hoping there's something good in there. And a box full of cable. I've already sold three moving boxes of cable. It was about 200 pounds. I picked this all up for 14 bucks. So just to show you that it's not a big investment. Sometimes you can get the stuff for free. Hey, but 14 bucks is next to free. Especially when I already cashed in 200 pounds of wire. So let's start with what you'll need. I know my de my uh, bench is a mess, but I like to use needle nose pliers. Um, two sets of these channel locks. One I have set just for a certain purpose. The other a tight, a pokey pokey. CRVT10 security bit. Good old Phillips bit. The tiny, tiny side cutters. A drill. And a power supply. 
I have two here. Um, myself, the reason why I have two pairs of channel locks is because when I scrap, I like to scrap a lot. I've already scrapped 43 of these. I left these two for this video. But I scrapped all 43 at one time. I had a process almost like a Henry Ford assembly line. And so I scrapped 43 of them out in an hour and a half. So it's really important. Scrap the same thing because once you get in the rhythm, it's, you're just going to bang them out quickly. What it is, is the Avea Power Supply model DPSN27BBB. And uh, they're out of Thailand. So let's get at it. Okay, so first of all, you take the pokey pokey thing and you pull these feet out. Or little caps. They hide the screws right there. And I'm just gonna show you what I mean by the whole assembly line thing. There we go. So the pokey pokey's done. Then we're gonna take the CRV T10 security bit. And so now that we've released all the screws, all you do is pull it apart. Rip these wires out. You got two batteries, which weigh one pound three ounces each. I know that because I've already weighed them. Pull the boards out. Pull the boards out. plastic goes in the recycle. Next you change your bit to a Phillips. There are three screws on this aluminum heat tool. And one on this one in the opposite direction. Of course, let's make this difficult. There we go. Now I'll be able to get at it. Same with this. that I take my needle nose and I just do that now you got two pieces of aluminum then you take your moth sets um, I'm going to be, in a future episode, oh, you didn't pull off. In a future episode, I'm going to be building a machine to process these moth sets. So, that'll be fun. Get them into at least number two copper. I'm a big fan of only touching a tool once. So then as soon as I've done the moth sets, I'm gonna go after these copper toroids. Just do that. 
And then, yeah, we'll do the other two toroids. Sometimes they're stubborn, like this one. And this is why I use the needle nose, it gets you in faster. So those two are done. Okay, we're done with the needle nose. The next thing, we take the small side cutters, just go in as deep as you can. I like to do, I just cut by that piece of ferrite, pull it off. Those ends will be dirty brass. There's some wire. Take this one. Then cut this plug off. I don't save these kind of plugs. I just throw them in the shred. So there you go, you got a little bit more wire. Do it again. Pull the ferrite out. Cut those off. Cut your plug wire off. This one off. And we're done with the small side cutters. So the last thing we need to do to this board is just pull off these little motors so these transformers I don't strip down because there is a a winding of tape on angel hair and it just keeps on going layer by layer by layer they're impossible to to get them clean in an efficient way Again, you just grab onto that bugger, give it a little bit of a twist, it comes off. Do the same with the transformer. Comes clean off. And that's it. So now this board here is not worth setting the board sort. Um, I just put them in the shred they're basically just a low grade board even though um they're green on both sides this one here i guess would be more of a medium the one on the side but again they're only, i think a medium grade board on board so it's only 40 cents and what we're targeting is uh three dollars and above and I prefer 350 to four dollars. Okay, so I'm just going to not that I took them off on the others because it's kind of a waste of time since I'm just going in the shred. But I'll just show you the back side of this thing. They got a, a blank board here that's just useless. So I don't take them off. And then here, I think there's three talons at the most, but they're black ones. I don't trust the black ones. Um, just because they could be resistors too. So I don't trust myself enough with the, with the black talons. I only collect the yellow ones, but that's up to you. But really, that's just a medium to a low grade board. Nobody wants that. So that's how you rip apart a power supply. And I will be back with the telephone.
So the next victim is this of a phone. So what you'll need for this operation is a phone, the little tiny side cutters, a chisel or anything you can, you know, have a nice sharp edge to pry something out. Well, to lift something out, not to pry it. You may need the pokey stick, flat screwdriver, heat gun, a drill with that CRVT 10 bit. It's a security bit, so it's got a hole in the center. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hole in the center. It's to make sure people don't fool with their stuff. So let's get at it. So, first of all, I'm going to share with you the model of this. And that just comes off. That's just a piece of plastic. I know everybody thinks it's a piece of aluminum. It's not in the recycle. So, anyways, on here there's a little clip. It just pulls out. There's some gold pins in these. I don't collect gold pins um board sort will buy these ends but it's just not worth it they're only i think 25 cents a pound so unless you live close don't bother just step them off maybe you collect gold pins well then you can take them apart okay so same thing with the back side um I'm just going to snip that off. And this cord is not the easiest to get out sometimes. So, there's some low grade wire. My yard just gives me the, um, the same price for all insulated wire except for number one insulated. So, that's just going to go in the tote. Now, this thingamajig that you put to your ear well all there is in it is a speaker and a microphone and not enough wire to even register on the the uh, scale there's also a weight in there like a piece of metal piece of steel so all I do is I throw these in the shred okay so you're going to take your drill and your CRVT 10 bit and just get rid of all the screws. There's one in the middle. I think we got them all. It just pops out. This goes in plastic recycling. Okay. So on this board, there's going to be three more screws. And then you just... That comes off. Oh yeah, right. There's a piece of tin on that thing. You can take that off. Speaker. That goes in the shred. And then, got a little bit of wire. Take oh, right here, like that, like this. Just throw it on your insulated wire bucket. So, on this board, again, it's not a great board, but you got this uh, gold corner BGA. You want to grab that. You want to grab uh, 
these two IC chips. Here's a flat pack. This thing, I'm not sure. It's got a little bit of a window, but I can't see in it. Um, I'm actually going to take a picture of that and uh, email Chris and just see if they're worth anything. And I'll have to let you know on the ep next episode if they are. Okay, so we'll get back to that in a second. Now there's some more screws. Okay, I think I have all those screws out. Lift this board out, pull this plastic off. And here, you might be really impressed, it's really not that great. There's lots of gold flashing on it. There's some huge, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, huge gold pins. A little bit of flashing on the back. I'm gonna tell you what to do with this soon as we get rid of this so now i think i have all the screws out yeah oh yeah just do that this ribbon cable is silver if you collect those great i don't um then we have a snap-on cover and they're not always the easiest to get out. But let's see. Let's just put something under there. I'm going to just show you what's inside this thing. Maybe. There. Piece of plastic recycling. This is a piece of plastic recycling. So, this takes a security bit that I don't have. So, you just use a multi-tool. Break that open. And in here is another board. There's that silver strip, and there's a little bit more of that gold stuff. Um, on the back, there's a couple um, MLCCs. They're just so tiny. They're not worth taking off. So what I do with these is I'm going to harvest all my phones, put them together, and put them on eBay and sell them as circuit boards for gold recovery. And I bet you someone will bid on it. People are crazy on the eBay. I've heard people from Ireland really like to buy stuff on eBay and sometimes pay too much. Uh, we won't say who that is, Irish. So then, we'll just get rid of this stuff. Put this all in the plastic recycle. Just wanted to show you how we deal with this. Okay, so the ICs, just cut it on one side with a knife like that. It should pop up. And then just wiggle it back and forth. That's the fastest and the easiest way. Um, we'll do it again over here. And just wiggle it back and forth. On the flat box, because they're soldered on four sides, you want to do three. Just like this. Wiggle them back and forth. 
this is something you definitely are going to be sending to board sort. I can't remember the amount, but I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, oh, I'm just going to take this off so I can send a picture to Chris. Oh. There we go. So that that's going to now, myself, I've seen some people just dig these off with a chisel. Um, I am more OCD than that. I want to get these off in a nice piece just because they're, they've got good value to them. And I, I'm always scared of, if I break them all up, am I going to get it at the same price? So all you do is you heat this up for a couple minutes. Give it a try. And then they come off nicely. So you want to save the gold corner ones. Again, if you're a pin collector, you're going to find pins. In this, um, there's a switch that'll have silver in it, a crystal oscillator that will have silver in it. I don't do gold pins, I don't do silver. There's a couple chunky MLCCs. If you're into that, go ahead and grab them. Um, I'm not. And the rest of this will go into shred. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nice Junk. Next week we'll get into something bigger. I'll probably tear apart the um, that uh, home PC and a laptop. But of course it'll be the quick version. I don't like videos to last longer than 20 minutes. Because most people's attention spans only last about 6. So make sure you like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see the rest of this series. And that was some nice junk.